Just 24 hours on from Australia versus West Indies in the first T20 here at North Sydney Oval, and we are back once again. In the air, up and taken! They put catches down in the first match. Healy was dropped off the third ball yesterday, but not today. Campbell has taken an absolute blinder backward of point. Well, she certainly made up for a drop catch yesterday. That was an absolute ripper. Oh, yeah. Boulder, what a delivery from Matthews. It was Henry with the first ball of the game, and in the blink of the eye, the West Indies have the number one and the number two batters of the world out at the moment. Short ball, Perry very quickly indeed gets into a wonderful position. Perry looks to go up and over and oh, it was in, it was out. Just through there, nearly got it on the second grab and she knows what a big wicket that would have been. Well, she's tried a couple of times, Elise Perry, and hasn't quite middled it. She is completely middled this one though. Mooney, yeah, it's a lovely shot of hers. We've seen it right throughout her career. 13 off the over so far. Make that 17 to finish things off. Sweeps, gets outside the off stump and it goes straight to Connell. Matthews, the in-form player in world cricket, now finds herself with two wickets in her three overs. Well, crisp once again. And that is a ninth half century for Australia and she's done it in very quick time. And then goes back and peppers the stumps. Ash Gardner is gone. What a setup from the West Indies. Slaps it and gets the angle completely right. So often in the past. Gets into that sweet position again. The field is up. The ball goes back. And then she goes to the offside. She is just playing with the field at the moment, Elise Perry. As Perry lifts up and in and out. And Henry, for the second time, has put down a tough chance. As Litchfield picks that up and goes all the way as well. Bad luck, young man. You almost had a catching opportunity. And straight to her. Would you believe it? It's a shot that Elise Perry has played so well this innings. Lovely. I don't know how else to describe something like that. That is just absolutely exquisite. Short, full extension of the hands. And yet again, Phoebe Litchfield finds the gap. <laughs> wow. She's enjoying her time out in the middle at the moment, isn't she, Phoebe Litchfield? Matthews pushes the ball wider. Annabelle Sullen, I think, was thinking, yes, she's going to do that. So held her shape. But in the end, Gajnabi does well on the boundary line. Is it through? It is. Yeah, she had a little practice run the ball before. Well, I think Phoebe literally was sitting back on the sideline thinking, I'll do exactly the same thing. Backs away. Connell chases up. And once again, she finds the middle of the bat. Goes short. Wareham goes after it. It's going to skip across this ground. Sophie Devine has hit an 18 ball 50. Likewise has Phoebe Litchfield. She is a record breaker here for Australia. And I think she's just created a whole new fan base as well. And Australia have muscled and caressed their way to six for 212. Oh, so quick off the blade. Back of the length, it's in the air, and it's comfortably taken by Jess Jonathan. That is her 50th wicket on Australian soil in T20 internationals for Megan Shute. There's a short ball, and that is exquisitely played. Well, the over finished with three consecutive boundaries to Matthews. And goes again, this time slightly squarer, but same result. Hayley Matthews charges down and it's dropped. Megan Shute on the boundary line. 
And Matthews straight away goes after Jess Jonathan and does it in the most spectacular form over cover. Wow, that is such a good shot. Going to get punished. Up and over, past the boundary line. That's a very nice way to bring up yet another half century for Hayley Matthews. Change of pace, she goes down on one knee and peppers the picket fence here in North Sydney. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it just gets better and better. Yeah. Oh, it's catch. It is flown to Ash Gardner. They are on their way because Stefani Taylor is starting to find a little bit of groove as well. Comes down the wicket. And yeah, of course she does. She goes all the way up and over her favourite cover area. And that's skewed off the bat. Coming in, diving forward is shoot, and it goes underneath the hands, and it's a teaser. Just given that's a... Oh, that is gone. This is some ball striking. That's it! In the air and in and out. Would you believe it? Phoebe Litchfield has been brilliant in the field. And then looks to go up and over, straight down the ground. She does it beautifully. And what a way to bring up her 22nd 50 for the West Indies, her first since 2019. And then off the back foot. We've seen some sublime shots tonight, but that for me is probably the shot of the day. What a way to bring up her second T20 International 100. And no surprises, it was with class as well. The sheer brilliance of Hayley Matthews on display down under. Still gives a full toss though, and Hayley Matthews, she is just thinking boundaries. Boulder, there's the wicket the Aussies needed. The partnership has been broken by the leading wicket taker in world cricket in Megan Shoot. Doesn't tighten up the line, keeps the same length, and yet again, another boundary. Catches. Up and over. Three on the trot for Matthews. Flat, hard, boundary again. Four on the trot. Who can stop her? Yeah. Oh, she's bolder. Four boundaries on the trot. Janice Jonathan fights back with the wicket off Matthews. And would you believe it, this game has changed again. Henry is deep in the crease. So she looks to go fuller and gives her a waist-high full toss. A very quick look over the shoulder from Gardner. Fumble from Litchfield. They go again. Two needed. At the stumps, they're going to go for it. It gets past Perry. Will they look for the second on the arm of Sullivan? They do. They get back. It is a game for the ages. That is a win that the West Indies will relive for many years to come. It was off the back of Matthews and Taylor. Henry and Campbell get them over the line, but they have chased down 212 set by the world champions Australia. And all of world cricket will be glued to this.